From the cold front we can see moving into the Wake County area, it looks as though a large snowstorm will hit by late afternoon. No school closings have been reported at this time, but let's check in with meteorologist Samantha Byram in the Weather Center as we watch the progression of the storm. Samantha? Awesome. Oh, come on, guys, again? I haven't had milk with my cereal in over a week. Mine's dried too, Brant. I want to try to save you some. <laughs> Sorry, I'm starting to enjoy the crisp texture of cornflakes in the morning. Sorry, Brant, this past week's really been tight, and I haven't made another trip to the store, but did you check to see if there's any bread for toast? Oh, no, it's fine, Mom, really. I should get paid tonight after my shift, so I'll just pick something up from work. I really appreciate all you do, Brant. I know how hard you've been working lately. I'm showing the McConnell Street house to this couple for the third time, and as soon as this sale goes through, things are really gonna start looking up. That's great, Mom, good luck. Um, I get off at nine, so just call me at the store if you think of anything you need me to bring home. Thanks, Brant. Hey, Brant, want me to the bus stop? I have about 50 vocab flashcards I could use a quiz on. Okay, um, lackadaisical. Oh, lack of daisies. <laughs> Can you keep it eighth grade for my sake, please? <laughs> hey, you're gonna have to learn soon enough. You're really close, though. You two better hurry up. Brandon's gonna miss her bus. Yes, Sam. Love you, Mom. Love you too, guys. Have a good day. And bundle up out there. It's supposed to be a pretty heavy snow tonight. Bye, Mom. Bye. <laughs> Are you almost ready? I don't want to be late again. Mary Jake, I thought I told you I had a job interview this morning. It's on the complete opposite side of town. You're gonna have to take the bus. Are you kidding me? It's freezing outside, Mom. What about Dad? Don't bother your father. He was up again half the night. He needs to catch up on his rest. You know how stressed he's been lately. Well, maybe if I still had my own car, I wouldn't have to be such a burden on you. Mary Jake, I don't want to hear it. You know as well as I do why you don't. I'll see you after school. And you act like it's my fault. Guess I'll freeze to death waiting for the bus. Did you get something to eat, sweetie? Uh, there's some bacon and eggs left if you want, or I could toast your bagel real quick. No, um, I'm not that hungry. I'll just grab a banana or something. Well, sweetie, a banana is not going to tide you over to lunch. Breakfast's the most important meal of the day. Just give me two minutes. I can make you a cinnamon raisin bagel. Mom, don't worry about it. It will just get wasted. I'm not that hungry. Oh, uh, Lynn, do you need a check for your lunch count? Seems like it's been a while since I've given you one. No, I'm fine. Um, they lowered the prices in food lately, so it's just lasted a lot longer, that's all. Plus, it's the last day before Christmas break anyway, so see you later. Hey, Dad, wait up. Hey, can I catch a ride with you? My car's been acting up in the cold. I'm really running behind this morning, son, and I want to pick up Starbucks on the way. Minnie's still out on maternity leave. Dad, it's right on the way. You know, you can walk there as quickly as I can drive you, Grayson. If your car's still acting up later, we'll take it to the dealership. I gotta go.
Anyways, I'm so sick of how she acts like her life is so much more important than mine. Riding the bus this morning was humiliating. What a way to start Christmas vacation. Sweetie, you know you can call me next time. The mini is a little bit small for three, but we can make it work. I can't have you waiting at the bus stop. How long is your car gonna be in the shop, though? It seems like it's been forever. Who knows, it's messed up pretty bad. <laughs> Jeez, you think your parents would at least rent you something while you're waiting? Yeah, well, it's like I said, their lives are so much more important than mine. You poor thing. Attention students, the National Weather Service has just issued a severe snowstorm warning for our area. Your remaining exams will be rescheduled yes. following the holiday break. Please contact your parents or guardians immediately so they may arrange to transport you home. Due to the severity of the storm, we will only allow students to drive themselves home once their parents have given permission. All students that have not been picked up or signed out by 2 p.m. are to wait in the gym until transportation has been arranged. Ah, uh, my mom's showing today. Hey guys, listen up. Uh, Bobby Cawthron, Caroline Tripp, Tiffany Reeves, Jason Cornegy, Damon Bryant, Jessica Walsh, Amy Price, Andrea Redman, and John Gloria. You are free to go. The rest of you, we're still waiting to hear from your parents before the school can allow you to leave. Now, if we hear from them and they won't, don't want you driving during the inclement weather, then I'm afraid that you're gonna have to wait here until they can come get you. Thanks, guys. Look, I don't care. I am not sitting here all day. Sydney, just call the school and pretend to be my mom. Hey, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No one is going to find out it's you. I'll run out the door really quick, please. Dad, it's me. I know you're in a meeting. It's not an emergency, I'm fine. I just, I really need you to call the school so they can release me. Okay, it's only gonna take 30 seconds. Thanks, Dad. Bye, I guess. Well, hello, students. I'm sorry you've not been able to get a hold of your parents. The school's attempted to contact them as well but unfortunately we have no luck either. I'm going to attempt to go home to my own children before the storm gets any worse. Mrs. Burgess will be here near the phones and she'll be checking on you periodically until everyone has been dismissed. Well, all right then. Basketball, anyone? Yeah, man, I'm in. Lynn, did you want to shoot a few? No, no, I'm not very good. And you think I am? Come on. Not like we have anything better to do. Hey, 
Ellie. What's her name? Dude, how do you not know her name? Give him a break, Brad. He's only gone here a few weeks. It's Mary Jake. Mary Jake Harper. Her family owns like half of Raleigh and her dad is... Hey, Mary Jake, come join us. I'm good, really. Come on, what are you afraid of? Nothing, okay? I just don't feel like playing. Well, I don't really feel like being stuck in the gym all night either, but looks like we're kind of out of luck, so... Come on. Okay, so let's play horse. But if you miss your shot, you have to tell everyone the reason why you're stuck here today. Come on, man, that's dumb. I agree. What's so dumb about it? What do you have to hide? I didn't mean it like that. Okay, then you can go first. I know you're new here, so probably no one told you, but Grayson's our local basketball legend. They framed his jersey last year and put it in the principal's office. Hope they washed it first. Camille, you next? Uh, sure. All right, Camille, spill it. I talked to my dad. Actually, he and my mom are in meetings all day and they couldn't get away. Don't you have a car? Yeah. Yes, I do, but I don't like to drive in the snow, so I'm waiting here until they can come. Well, give someone else your get-out-of-jail card, then. Some of us aren't choosing to be stuck here. Why are you stuck here, then, Mary Jake? I'm not playing. Yeah, I know. That's okay. I'm just asking. <sighs> Fine, then. My car's in the shop, and my parents are very busy because they're very important people. Happy now? Yep. Brant? I told you I was terrible. But no one cares if you're good at basketball. I drive, and my car is here, but my parents are so protective, they don't want me driving this weather, so now my aunt is supposed to come get me, but she freaks out a little bit too, so I think maybe my great uncle Lou is coming with the semi-truck after he finishes his route. <laughs> All right, students, still no word from your parents, so grab your things, let's move everyone to the library. That way you can at least catch up on any reading or studying you may need to accomplish before Christmas break. There are also emergency lights in there, just in case we lose power. Are you sure my mom hasn't called? I'm sure she's tried. I'm sorry, Miss Harper. Are you coming to Christmas service? Um, sure. Are you gonna be singing? Well, this will be interesting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll see. It's gonna be a fun time. Hey, um... I'm just gonna use the restroom. I'll meet you guys there. Okay, uh, we'll see you in a minute. Come on, Sydney, come on. Hi, you've reached Sydney. I've obviously got something better to do than answer your phone call, so leave a message. Oh, seriously?
Lynn, can you go check on Mary Jake? Uh, I hope she isn't sick or anything. She seemed a little strange. Mary Jake? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure, Mrs. Bridges. Okay, thanks. She isn't in the bathroom. What do you mean? Where is she? Mrs. Burgess, I think she may have left the school. I can't say for sure. She's pretty upset she had to stay. Well, how far could she possibly get in the weather? She said she didn't have a car. Now, we don't have any reason to believe that she isn't just somewhere else in the school. She could have forgotten something in the gym, or maybe she just wanted to be alone. Doubtful. When have you ever seen Mary Jake Harper alone? She's got a point, Miss Burgess, and I don't even think Mary Jake knows what that word means. I didn't realize. Okay, let's split up and look for her. She could still be somewhere in the school. All right, I'm going this way. Who's coming with me? Yeah, okay, I'll come with you. Meet us back at the library. If um, you okay, Miss Burgess, I'll come with you. Mary Jake, please come out. Does she have a, um, a favorite teacher or a classroom where she might have gone? <sighs> Mrs. Burgess, I'm sorry, but I don't know much more about Mary Jake other than what outfit she wears each day to school. But she probably has like 20 friends who would ride their bike into the blizzard and come get her if she wanted them to. Let's go. Hey, Jake! Hello? Does anyone else agree this is completely pointless? She's probably long gone by now. My point exactly. Not like I've had a conversation with Mary Jake since, like, preschool, but I think I'm perceptive enough to know that she isn't the type to be hiding in the corner of some classroom pouting. So what you guys are saying is that she went out into the storm with no car? Any logical person would know that isn't the best plan. Maybe she called someone to come pick her up. Sydney could have come, or maybe her mom or dad. Well, then we should check the entrance, just so we know. Can we make a pit stop first? Don't you run off on us, too. I'd like to keep my fingers and toes, thank you. I like her spunk. Yeah, Camille didn't used to be so spunky. What do you mean? Back in middle school, she was Miss Social Butterfly. You know, she was super involved with our church and was like the head of the whole choir. You don't believe how good she can sing. You know, she was really cool and fun and always really crazy happy. And then, I don't know, high school happened and I don't really know what she's thinking anymore. We could sure use her voice in choir though. Yeah, I'm a choir nerd. Hey, did you check to make sure she didn't just fall in? No comment. See? It's just spunk. Shall we place bets? 50 bucks says she's climbing into a horse-drawn carriage laughing at us when we open that door. Oh, high roller, man. Uh, five bucks says she's off to the faculty bathroom for some privacy. Cafeteria food will do that to you. Gross, Brant. That's... She's gonna owe me five bucks if I have to freeze to death looking for her. Okay. Moment of truth. So it's gonna be like that, huh? 50 bucks for a horse-drawn carriage? Mary Jake is no friend of mine. If he's not back in three minutes, I'm going after him. I guess that's the difference between you and me.
Did you find her? Where's... Well, princess, looks like you owe me 50 bucks. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, why are you heading into a blizzard on foot? You must at least have a plan or, or maybe a ride. I'm fine. Just leave me alone. Mary Jake, give it up. It's freezing. Your pretty little nose will turn black and fall off if you stay out here much longer. So what's the plan? I thought my ride would be here. I guess they couldn't make it in the snow. I'm sure they tried. Right. I'm sure they did too. Come on. Mary Jake, what were you thinking? Um, I... She was waiting for her ride. But some people just don't know how to drive in the snow, you know? They're probably stuck in a snowbank somewhere, leaving poor Mary Jake to fend for herself in the cold. Some friend, huh? I'm sorry, Mary Jake. But you have to let me know next time before you try to leave. You could have been stuck out there for hours. <sighs> okay, everyone. Back to the library. I'll meet you there in a minute. It's four o'clock already. I should be clocking in right now. So much for that paycheck. Where do you work, Brent? Uh, well, after school, I work at Lowe's Foods. And then on the weekends, I work concessions at the ball field during the day, and I bust tables at Vincenzo's at night. Wow. You sure keep busy. What are you saving up for? Uh, nothing really. I just try and work as hard as I can to help my family out. They own a uh, realty business, and with the economy lately, they've been having a little trouble making as much as they used to. Is it just you and your parents? Uh, no, actually, it's me and my adopted sister, Anna, who's 13. And then we have six foster brothers and sisters, so it's a pretty full house. If your parents are so poor, then why are they taking care of other people's kids? Wow, Mary Jake, well said. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know, and they do it because they love them as their own, and they're doing their very best to give them a better life than they had at home. Wow. Maybe I'll come live with you, too. <laughs> I saw that car you pulled up in. You don't seem to be too bad off. Yeah. Well, I'd trade that car any day if it meant that my dad would actually act like a human being. Brent, it seems like your family takes care of so many kids because they love being around them. You know, I just wish that my dad was a little more like that. Go cry a little bit more. You guys are all pathetic. What did you just say? Stop playing dumb, Grayson. Just because none of these people are your friends doesn't mean it's okay to whine about your daddy issues. Mary Jake, stop. What's wrong? What's wrong? You want to know what's wrong? Yeah. Please enlighten us. You. What's your name again, new kid? Because I don't think anybody bothered to ask or to care. Grayson, do you care to share? What's your name? <laughs> I won't say I told you so. It's Anthony. Anthony David Goodwin. And you know what? And this is probably the only time I'm ever going to say this, but she's right. I had hoped people at this school would be concerned with a little more than just themselves. Guess I was wrong. Well, I think you're great, Anthony, and we're all sorry. Careful. Watch out for this one. She'll think you're so great, she'll try to become you. Fifth grade, we were friends somehow. Until suddenly, she's starting to dress like me and wear her hair like me every day. She'll start to freak you out after a little while. Stop pretending you're so perfect, Mary Jake. You're the one that was standing alone in a blizzard. The only reason I was out there is because I'd rather freeze to death than be stuck in here with you. Don't talk to her like that. Oh, give me a break, Grayson. 
You're the one who completely humiliated Camille in freshman year when you found out she had a crush on you. You made it very clear to the entire school that she wasn't good enough for you. You need to mind your own business. And since when do you think that you have any place here standing up to me? <laughs> okay, uh, I might not have as much money as you do or drive some fancy car or live in a huge house, but that doesn't make you any better than me. You don't know the first thing about me, Brant. I know that you hang out with the super cool crowd and you have a different girlfriend every stop. week. Stop. All right, fine, I'll stop. But tell me one thing you know about me. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. What are we doing here? Well, whether we like it or not, whether we like each other or not, we're stuck here. Anthony's right, this is gonna be a long night if we keep this up. It's going to be a long night regardless. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Does this place keep anything in the cafeteria after hours? Uh, yeah, they should have some, like, chips and stuff. Maybe some mean leftover chili dogs if we're lucky. Oh, gross. Brant, you with me on this adventure? Absolutely. Lynn, do you want to go? Um, yeah, why not? So Anthony, you just moved here recently, right? Yeah, sure did. Where from? Oh, you know, all over, really. Military brat? Yeah, actually. <sighs> I meant what I said. When I said I was sorry, that is. I really am. It's fine. I hardly even remember anymore. Yeah. Well, I do. It was first period. We both had Coach Lester's economics class together. <laughs> you wrote a note to Kelly Cothran about hoping that I would take you to the homecoming dance. So Kelly tried to pass me the note. Jackson saw what it said and started causing a scene. And I went along with what he said and told him, yeah, right, in a million years. Even though that was the exact opposite of what I wanted to say. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean it. Jackson and all those guys, they're immature and they're... And, and yeah, there was a point when I thought I had to be just like them. But I've changed a lot. I'm just sorry that you had to experience the old me like that. Can you forgive me? I think so. And thanks. I know it was a while ago, but it means a lot. <laughs> Do you think she's just pretending to listen to music and she can actually hear us talking? I used to do that on road trips with my parents just to see if they would actually say anything about me. <laughs> That's smooth. Did they? Nah. I guess they were smarter than I thought. Yeah, remember when I said I wanted a chili dog? Definitely changed my mind. <laughs> I dare you to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Lane Barrett's been done. Jackpot! It's no processed meat, but salty and deep fried has to take a close second. <laughs> right, you are, Lane. Good work. Oh, thank goodness I was about to eat Mary Jake's hand. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, nothing. What kind of chips do you want? Cheese curls, all right? Sure, whatever. Lynn, this feast was your discovery. Dig in. I'm really not hungry. Big lunch. Uh, you didn't eat anything at lunch. I was sitting down the table for me. 
and you were watching me eat? That's a little creepy, Brant. Well, I mean, I look at you sometimes, yeah, and I just noticed you were picking out your salad. Just an observation. Well, why do you look at me? Come on, Lynn. It's written all over his face. He looks at you because he likes you. Duh. Yeah, I, I look at you because I like you and because I think you're really pretty. I'll be pretty when I lose 20 pounds. Lynn, are you crazy? 20 pounds? Come on, you look great. Thanks, but you're lying. She's not lying, Lynn. I like you just how you are. Yeah, well, I don't. Skinny doesn't mean pretty. Why do you think just like- Just stop, okay? Obviously, none of you know anything and you don't know me, so stop pretending that you do. I'm sorry about what I said before. I guess it's really none of my business. It's okay. I just want you to know that I think you're beautiful. Inside and out. And I mean it. I just want you to know that you are too. Thanks, Bram. I'm gonna try. I really am. like the generator's kicking on. I want all of you to stay close to each other and no one leaves this room without permission. I'm going down to the home ec room to find some blankets. The storm's getting pretty bad and most of the roads are closed, so looks like we may be spending the night here. Does anybody have any medical concerns I should be aware of? Uh, Mrs. Burgess? Um, I'm diabetic. It doesn't really give me any problems, but I should probably get my kit out of my locker. Okay, you can come with me and we'll stop by your locker on the way back. Okay. Can I be the first to say I find that very surprising? I mean, I'm not ashamed to say that Grayson Thompson is one of the most seemingly perfect guys I've ever met. Well, being diabetic doesn't make him flawed. But you're right. I mean, everyone sees Grayson as this, like, model high schooler. So he's big man on campus, then? Something like that, I guess. So do you think that if people knew he had diabetes, that that would change the way they think of him? Of course it would. They see him as perfect, and he's not. Well, who is perfect, then, Mary Jake? You? As far as I'm concerned, nobody's perfect, and it's foolish for anyone to assume that they are. I sure wish I lived in your perfect little world, Camille. Because the world I live in, that's just how it is. That world is called high school. <clears throat> what? <laughs> yeah, well, it's not something I go advertising. Do people know? Um, yeah, people know. I mean, my teachers know. Most of my friends. It doesn't make me any different. Wait, so your friends know you have diabetes and it doesn't change anything? No, why would it? How long have you had it? Since I was born. My parents had me really young and I was born with type 1 diabetes. Do you ever think maybe that's why your dad doesn't want to spend time with you? Mary Jake! Not that it's any of your business, but why would that have anything to do with anything? Not that it's any of my business? Everybody's been spilling their business all afternoon. I'm just making an observation. He may have odd ways of showing it, but my dad loves me. You know what, Mary Jake? The way you're acting makes me think that you have some deep, dark secret, too. Whatever. Think what you want. Does anyone else think I may be right? You know what my deep dark secret is? 
I love chips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Deep dark secrets around the room. Go. You go, Mr. Mysterious. Okay. Um, I used to bite my toenails. Ew, that's gross. Anthony, that's gross. I know. That's why it's a deep dark secret. You next. I don't know. Gosh. Uh... I used to cook with my Easy Bake Oven until I was 15. They still make those? Oh yeah, they do. The food is really good. I used to eat it every day. Maybe that's why. You know what? It doesn't matter. I might just bust out that Easy Bake Oven when I get home. If we ever get home. <laughs> Speaking of home, I built a bat cave in my basement. I was so obsessed with Batman and Robin. I mean, I wore the Kate ears, everything. And when was this? Pretty recently? <laughs> no, when I was like six. Although last time I checked, it was still standing. We could have a sleepover if you want. <laughs> Sometimes I let my little sisters put makeup on me because I am just that good of a parent. No, that's a sleepover I want to be at. Camille, are you in? <laughs> Only if I can straighten your hair and maybe some French tips. Easy there, Brent. I think you may have just made two new best friends. Oh, gosh. With the risk of sounding uncool, I had a pretty mean perm in the fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> we were living in the Los Angeles that year, and I wanted to look just like Justin Timberlake. Mm. It was the it thing to do, apparently. <laughs> look at you, so hip and ahead of your time. I don't know how Raleigh will ever keep but up. It's going to be tough, but let him try. Wait, are the phones? No, I don't know. The phone is. Are they working? Mom? Everybody quiet, please. Uh huh. Oh no. What, is he okay? Uh huh. Oh no. No, 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 we're fine. Please just stay safe. Yeah, no, there's nothing to worry about. Wait, what did you say? What? Mom. Mom. What did your mom say? Is everything okay? Storm's gotten pretty bad. Um, my uncle was on his way in with his truck and he hit a snowbank or something. He ran off the road. Oh my gosh, is he gonna be all right? Yeah, yeah, he's fine, but the news is advising everyone to stay indoors and off the roads like Mrs. Burgess said. It just looks like we're gonna be stuck here until it calms down. Or starts melting in the morning. What's going on? Towers must be down. Hope you brought a pillow. <laughs> Very funny. I'm usually not one to worry, but my dad's in Charlotte today, and my mom was driving out of town for a house showing. None of us have cell phones, so if anything were to happen, I just... My sister Anna's probably fine with her friend Jesse, but everyone else might be stuck at Daniel's middle school. Should have thought about that earlier. Right, I'm sure they're fine. I mean, my mom didn't say there had been any emergencies, just that weird advice to stay off the roads. I mean, there's nothing we could have done anyway. We're just as stranded as anyone else. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go call Daniel's Metal just in case. I'll come with you, Brand. I wanna try my dad again. Okay. You know, I've gone to this school for almost four years now, but I never really looked at this hallway. Doesn't even feel familiar when it's all empty. It's like I get so caught up in myself and my own life that sometimes I just don't notice my surroundings. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm a junior, so I spent roughly 735 days of my life here. It's not so much as the surroundings, more of like the people. I mean, how many conversations have you had with Lynn or Mary Jake? That's a good example. Lynn's great, and she seems pretty real, you know? Mary Jake is... <laughs> Where do I even begin? And Anthony, I mean, that guy scared me at first, but now I almost want to be his friend. Yeah, me too. <laughs> do you remember Camille back in middle school where she wore lots of pink and was basically the president of everything? Yeah, she sure went the other way with that one. Yeah. There's something about her. You know, she seems different than I thought. I don't know, I think I might like to get to know the new Camille. Mm. <laughs> Miss Burgess, it's Grayson and Brent. Come in, boys. Miss Burgess, is everything okay? I'm sorry. 
I hate for you to see me like this. Um, is everything okay in the library? Yeah, we're fine. We just wanted to see if we can make a few phone calls. I think the cell phone towers are down. Uh, I'm afraid the landlines aren't working either. I've been waiting for over an hour to hear back from my husband. He was on his way home from work last he spoke, and I told him to go so he could concentrate on the roads, but now that the lines are down, I, I don't know when I'll hear from him. Well, how far from home was he? A few miles. It's a short commute, but I can't help thinking the worst. Miss Bridges, I'm sure he's fine. Everyone that was caught in the storm is taking the precautions they need to. I know, Brent. You're completely right. It's just hard to stay positive in this situation. I don't know how you kids are doing it. <laughs> I should be in the library taking care of you students instead of in here worried about myself. We're fine, Miss Burgess, really. Stay by the phone as long as you need to. Is there anything that I can get for you? No, no, I'm fine. Um, just take care of the others and I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. Um, have you heard anything about the students at Daniels Middle School? Last I heard, we were the only school in the district with students left. Um, we're further out of town, so it's harder for people to get here. Yeah, awesome, no, that's good to hear. Oh, it may be a good idea to start lining the doors in the library to keep the heat in. Unfortunately, I don't know how much longer the generators are going to last. That's a good idea. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Yeah, what he said. And, Miss Burgess, I'm going to pray for your husband. Is that okay? It's perfectly fine, Brent. Thank you. in time. Did you get a hold of anyone? Is everything okay? Well, main phone lines are down too, apparently, but according to Miss Burgess, the rest of the schools are empty, so Brent's brothers and sisters should be safe somewhere. Oh, good. That's so good to hear. But we need to keep in all the heat that we can, so I'm gonna line the door with these blankets. Okay. Hey, Anthony. Give me your jacket. You should be fine in that sweatshirt. Nah, I'm gonna hang on to it. Come on, man. You're making me sweat just looking at you. If you get cold, you can get it back. I said no! Find something else. Okay. Forget I asked. So... No word from your dad yet? No. Nothing. I left him a few messages, but there's no one in his office, so he probably doesn't even know it's snowing out. I thought I'd be the first thought on his mind. You know what, Grayson? Before you're so quick to judge your dad for not being the perfect father, why don't you stop for a second and think about all of the things that he actually does for you and what you'd do if he wasn't there at all. Doesn't seem so bad now, does it? Is that your dad's? Yeah. He's... Uh, he's been in Iraq for three years. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know. It's cool. Just remember what you have. How many threes? Go fish. Unstoppable, and I know you guys can all agree. You're totally cheating. I saw you step past the line. I don't cheat. I don't cheat. Oh, 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 Let's go, Lynn. Lynn. Oh. <laughs> I told you that. Oh, all right. I'm nominating you for the year as the most athletic. Seriously, how old are you guys? Keep it down. What are you listening to? Is that New Kids, Mary J? Are you listening to New Kids? Is that your big secret? And you've been hiding it from us this whole time. Back. Look what you did. It 
it's ruined. Thanks a lot. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I don't care if you didn't mean to. It's broken and it's your fault. Chill out, Mary Jake, come on. It's not like you're not getting 10 more iPods for Christmas. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Oh, uh, one iPod and a new Lexus then, right? Oh, stop. <laughs> hey, I'm not getting any of those. Did you this. ask for a new pony this year, Mary Jane? <laughs> no, no! I'm not getting any of those things. <laughs> My parents are bankrupt. What? What happened? I don't know all the details. My parents will hardly tell me anything. I guess my dad made some big investment that went bad and now everything is a mess. My uncle's paying our mortgage so we don't lose our house. My college fund is gone. Everything. So what are you gonna do about it? Excuse me, I can't do anything about it. Well, you can't change the fact that your family's going through a rough time, but you can do everything you can to try and help them through it. What are you talking about? What can I possibly do? Uh, you could get a job. That way you could pay for your own things, like your clothes and your makeup, and your parents can focus on getting back on their feet. There's no way I'm getting a job. Then you know what, Mary Jake? I don't want to hear you crying about how pathetic your life is if you're not going to do a single thing to make it better. It's not like that, okay? I just, I just can't. I cannot get a job. If my friends saw me waiting table somewhere, they'd tie. I, I do not want them to know. If they're really your friends, then they shouldn't care. You know what? I have an idea. Let's go, everyone. Hey, Mary Jake, that means you too. Chop, chop, people, let's go. All right, people, here we go. I may not know my way around the school so well yet, but I think I remember how to get to this place. Yeah, come on. Impromptu talent show, anyone? Oh, man. What sort of talents are you hiding, huh? The best kind. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. a lot better in the summertime. So. <laughs> all right, all right, sure. Watch the night. My sister's told me that, I swear. All right, who's next? Where's he going with my glasses? Where's he going? Oh, uh, no. Nah. Romeo, Romeo, where for out thou, Romeo? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> totally kidding, guys. Kidding. What you got? All right, here's where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
You call that dancing? I'll show you dancing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, Lynn. Beautiful. Woo. One more. Woo. Now that's talent. Woo. Forget high school. Let's start a talent troupe and travel the world. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Wait, where should we go first? Let's go to Moscow. Wouldn't that Moscow, be nice? Moscow, yeah. Moscow. All over so here. Around somewhere here. around here. <laughs> yeah? No, we gotta go to Europe, man. You gotta bring those flowers, too. Yeah, definitely. Take the horse with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Son, we now are gay apparel. La 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 the ancient Yuletide carol la 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 Yeah! Woo! Yeah! All right, Camille! As you were! I didn't know you could sing. I'm not upset. I am not. I am not upset. But please. You have to let me know next time before you decide to disappear. If it weren't for the sound of Christmas carols coming from this room, I might have been outside in that storm looking for all of you. Mrs. Burgess, I'm sorry. It was my fault. I wasn't thinking. And we're all here. Don't worry. OK. OK. Everything's just fine, and we're all just fine. What was I coming here to tell you? Right, the storm. It's getting worse. The temperatures are dropping, and the wind speeds are at record highs. Oh, please don't worry. If we stay inside, everybody is safe. But our biggest challenge is going to be keeping warm. I'm pretty sure that generator isn't going to last all night. But I have um, lanterns and flashlights in the library for us to use. Ms. Bridges, have you heard from your husband yet? Not yet, Brant. Thank you for asking. And thanks for the prayers. I have a feeling that he's safe. Grayson? Grayson? Are you all right? Uh, I feel weak all of a sudden. I think my blood sugar level must have dropped. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, Grayson. Let's get you back to the library. Um, boys, will you please help him? Lynn, can you grab the door? Okay, careful, careful. I don't know if you're gonna check the teacher's lounge for some snacks or something. I shouldn't lay down. Uh, just sit me over there. You need something to get your blood sugar up. Does anybody have any candy? I've got a soda in my backpack, I think. That'll work. Here, drink up, dude. Thank you. you can thank the blizzard for keeping it so cold for you. I guess Mr. Perfect is pretty normal after all. You know what? I actually prefer him that way. Normal, that is. Why are the long faces? I'm fine. And I'm starving. Is anyone else hungry? Yeah. Grab the flashlights, just in case. How many main dishes can you make with coleslaw? It uh, depends. On what? Whether you want them to be edible or not. <laughs> coleslaw and a chili dog, anybody. <laughs> uh, ah, here we go. Spaghetti noodles. Enough to feed the entire senior class. Hey, Camille, can you come over here and help me with this tomato sauce? OK. Pasta sauce. Lynn, uh, have you seen any bread, butter, garlic, anything like that? Let me see what I can find. Okay. These fit for a king. Excellent idea, Grayson. I'll get the oven going. What can I do to help? Hmm. 
I have just a job for you. Wait here. Alrighty, so we see what I'm getting at here. I don't know, I haven't spent much time in the kitchen. Well, if we're making a feast, we have to have dessert. Um, I've never made these before, or is it hard? It's easy as one, two, three. Add ingredients, stir, pour in a pan. Although I didn't see any measuring cups, so you have to eyeball the amount, but it's pretty straightforward. I'm sure you can handle it. I don't know, Grayson. What if I just set the table or something? I don't want to mess this up. I have faith in you, Mary Jake, and I think you'd be surprised what you can accomplish when you try. Hey, Lynn. Not it on dish duty. I second that. Don't forget the most important part of any table setting. Is there anything I can do to help? I think we're all set. It's almost ready. Grayson, will you keep stirring that? Yeah. Um, Camille, can you find some pot holders? I think the garlic bread should be about done. Absolutely. I think I saw some over near the utensils. Oh, I didn't realize how hungry I was. It smells amazing. I think this is going to be a really good meal. Just what we need to warm our bodies and our spirits. Thanks for coming up with the idea, Grayson. Yeah, well, if there's anything, I know it's food. I keep me and my dad pretty well fed. That's a very admirable trait. Makes me happy to see today's youth helping out around the house. Well, my dad works hard, so I try to take any chance I can to help out. Just wish sometimes I could do more. I'm sure he appreciates everything that you do. Yeah, thanks. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. Shall we say grace? Sure. Dear Lord, we thank you for this meal we're about to receive. Please keep our friends and family safe during the storm and watch over us throughout the night. We thank you for your undearing love and know that you'll keep us from harm. Amen. 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 Thanks, Brent. Shall we? This is amazing. We're gonna put the cafeteria lady out of a job. It's incredible. Maybe it's because I'm starving, but this might be the best dinner I've ever eaten. It's perfect. Despite the circumstances, this isn't such a terrible night. You gonna finish that? Okay, I did my best to contribute. Mm, Mary Jake, this is amazing. Hands down, best brownie ever to be made from a box. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Wow. Mmm. It's better than Grandma's. Thanks, guys. You know, Mary Jake, I, really, I think we can all agree that those brownies were amazing. Better than my <laughs> easy bake oven. Oh, man. That spaghetti was awesome, too. I'd say it was almost better than my mom's, but I think I might get in trouble for saying that. Mom, it was better than my grandma's. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, I won't need I to eat, eat for a week. I'm not one to say, I told you so, but I did tell you so. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Um, everything's all right. Nobody panic. There are plenty of lanterns and flashlights in the library, so let's keep moving in that direction. I'm going to grab my things from the office, and I'll be right there. All right, everyone, let's oh, move to the back of the room to conserve some heat. Here. I got you. Here, grab all your stuff. All right, I can take this I'll one. I'll take this one. Here we go. Helen, you need help with that? Come on, Mary Jake. Okay. Just set everything down. We'll put all the blankets. I think we're all going to be okay. It's 
transformer back here. Oh, man. You know, it does make me feel a little better. Now there's a pretty good chance that my dad just lost his HD football and his heated recliner's probably getting a little cold. Are you kidding me? What? I thought we were past this. Give me a break. I mean, I've heard what you have to say, but you don't know what it's like. I just think it's a little unfair that I'm stuck here at school and he's probably off watching a DVR. Don't talk to me about unfair. I get it, Anthony. Okay, I get it. Your dad's off in Iraq and that's rough. But my dad might as well be there too because that's exactly what it feels like. Well, at least your dad's alive. What? You heard me. But you said... I know what I said. It's just easier that way. He died two months ago. I don't like to admit it. I mean, he'd been gone so long before it happened that... I don't talk about it, it seems like he's just still away. I was hoping that staying here today with you guys would help me take my mind off things. Anthony, I'm really sorry. And I know it's hard to accept in a situation like that. You have to remember that everything happens for a reason. I don't see any reason why my dad had to be the one to die. You may never know. But there is a reason. His death served a much higher purpose. Doesn't make it any easier. No, no. Maybe one day it will. Sorry that took so long. Is everything all right in here? We're fine, Mrs. Burgess. Bathroom break. All right. We'll be right back. You okay, Grayson? Yeah. I'm just doing some thinking. I feel like a total jerk. You know, but that's not the point. I know. My dad makes me so, so angry. But I can't imagine what I'd do if he was gone. Just enjoy all the time you do have with him. Even if it seems like nothing at all. Easier said than done. I feel like I should go apologize to Anthony. I think he knows you're sorry. Thank you all for your help and for staying in good spirits. I know none of us anticipated this when we started our day. You've all done really well to make the most of the situation. So, what does everybody want for Christmas? Grayson? Um, I don't know. I don't need much. My dad usually gives me gift cards. My mom sends me clothes. I'll probably get some new music and like 20 pairs of socks. I want a guitar so I can play and sing. Maybe I'll start a band, I don't know. Oh, and um, socks. You can never have too many socks. I think I'm gonna ask for some clothes. Some clothes I actually like. Well, my family's been saving up for a while to get us a Wii. A Wii and 10 remotes. <laughs> Big family. I, um, I have everything I need. I'm just looking forward to spending some time with my family. My mom and I are taking a cruise and not taking any of this snow with us. <laughs> so, Mrs. Burgess, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, 
My husband and I have been trying to have a baby. That would be the greatest gift we could get. So if everything happens for a reason, what's the reason that we're all stuck here? Well, we can't be sure, but I can think of a few. Wait, what's that sound? Does anyone else think that sounded like someone knocking? There's someone out there. Grayson, wait. I don't think anyone should go out there. We have no idea who that could be. I know, Miss Burgess, but whoever it is is caught out there in that storm. They could die if we don't help them. Look, you stay here with everyone else. I'll go. I'm coming with you. Brant, stay here and keep an eye on the ladies. Wait. Please be careful. We'll be back. I'm a little freaked out. I mean, who could possibly be out in that storm? I don't know what to expect. Wait, we're coming! <coughs> okay, I got him, I got him. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Wait. Thank you. Oh, Dad? Grayson! Oh, Dad, you're freezing. Oh. Anthony, give me a hand. We gotta get him warmed up. Help! We need help! That's Grayson. He needs help. Camille, come with me. Hurry. Grayson! Down here! Is he okay? It's my dad. He's freezing. I'm uh, fine. Just need to lie down. I know, Dad. We'll get you there. Brant, give us a hand and help us get him to the library. Camille, I need hot water and lots of it. Try to find any bottles to fill, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. We'll meet you there. to work. Uh, perfect. Oh my goodness. Girls, um, grab some blankets, make a place to lay them down. It's my dad, Miss Burgess. Hurry. I sent Camille to get some hot water, but we gotta get him warmed up. Oh, quick, put some blankets on him. Make sure he's covered up. Okay. Okay. Quick, grab another blanket. Camille! I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Quick, put him in the blankets all Here. around him. Yeah, these will work great. Good job, Camille. Yeah, these will work great. Like this? Good job, girls. <coughs> thank you, thank you. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right, Dad. It's gonna be okay. It's going to make a huge difference, Camille. He's going to be fine. Good, I was really scared. Me too. <coughs> Dad. Dad. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, <clears throat> I'm, I'm fine. <sighs> I think you got to be just in time. I can't believe you could hear me over that storm. I've never seen anything like it. <clears throat> and, and you, what's your name? Anthony Goodwin. Sir. Good to meet you, Anthony. Thanks for coming with Grayson to get me. It's nice to meet you as well. Grayson talks about you a lot. Good things, I hope. <coughs> Only the best, sir. Dad, this is Brent. And Mary Jake, that's Lynn. And of course, this is Camille. Mr. Thompson, I'm Cynthia Burgess. Is there anything we can get you? 
Nice to meet you. And call me Chad. Uh, I'm fine. I just need to thaw out. <laughs> of course. Well, let us know if there's anything you need. So, what are you doing here, Dad? I mean, why did you go out in that storm? Well, Grayson, I got your message, but it was hours after you called. And I guess I got caught up in a meeting, and I didn't recognize the magnitude of the storm. But I felt terrible not being there for you, so I, I guess I thought I could get to you before it got too bad. How long did it take you to get out of here? <coughs> I was uh, I was on the road for about an hour, um, trying to cut through the snow, but eventually the car got stuck in a snowbank, and I was only about a half mile from the school at that point, so I, I tried to walk the rest of the way. And not really sure how long I was out there. <laughs> Dad, come on. I mean, think of what could have happened to you. Did you not hear the weather alert for no one to leave their homes? I know. I, I didn't care. I just, I didn't want you to think that I didn't try to get to you. I mean, and with your car acting up in the cold. Actually, my car is fine. I, I just said it this morning because I wanted to spend a few minutes with you. I don't know why I did it. Grayson, I'm sorry. No, really, it's fine. I mean, you work so hard to provide for me, and I shouldn't be ungrateful. Yeah, I work hard, but sometimes I, I just get caught up in it. I just don't want you to ever think you come second to my work. You don't come second to anything. And I'm sorry if I ever made you feel that way. I know. And thanks for understanding. I love you, Grayson. I love you too, Dad. Anthony, thanks for what you did. I did it for a reason. So what about you, Camille? What about me? Well, you know, I feel like we've all talked a lot about ourselves, but we haven't heard much from you. What's your story? What's my story? Jeez, I don't even know where to start. My story, uh... I have a pretty normal life. My family is well off. My parents love each other. I'm doing well in school. Sometimes something just... doesn't seem right. What do you mean? <sighs> it's hard to explain. I guess that sometimes I just... Um, I just don't feel happy. I get this feeling like something is wrong or um, missing. <laughs> wow, uh, I've never told anyone that before. What do you think it is? I don't know. It's not like I'm depressed or anything. I just... guess I'm just trying to figure everything out. I know what you mean. What are you guys doing for Christmas? I don't know, probably just spend the time with my family. Same here, why? 
We're doing a Christmas Eve service at our church. You guys should come and bring your families. Anthony, you can bring your mom. Thanks, Brent. Hey, um, what time? <laughs> 7.30. Then I can give you directions. Thanks. Not quite how you plan to spend your day, huh? Not to mention your night. Not even close. And I think after everything, this day turned out a lot better than I'd been planning. I agree. Can I ask you something? Um, a serious question. Yeah, of course. You pray a lot, and you're a really good guy. That wasn't really a question. I know. I know, just wait. You and your whole family, it seems like everything you do is so good. And you love God. I guess what I want to know is, how can you trust so much in God when he lets your family struggle the way they do? Well, God gives us everything that we need. You know, we don't need a, a mansion or fancy cars to be happy. And sometimes I think God takes things away. We need to be reminded of what we actually have. Good night, Mary Jane. Good night, Brian. Everybody's got a white line, right? It's it's still a lie, even if it's white. I'm gonna sleep all day when we get out of here. Me too. Don't diss the marshmallow jackets. Marshmallow It's not. What are you gonna get when you get out of here? I'm gonna get a juicy cheeseburger. Good morning! Phone lines are back up, and I was able to reach my husband. He's home safely. And he tells me that snow plows are hitting the roads now. So I need you all to call your parents, let them know you're okay. And as soon as the roads are clear, we can all go home. Yes, fine. And until the roads are clear. Snowball fight anyone? <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I needed a shower. How about another one? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> hey, Lynn. Yeah? Oh. Do you have plans this weekend? I know you probably do. Well, you know, I had a few things in mind. Um, sunbathing, pool party to go to. But I think the weather may have ruined those plans. <laughs> What were you thinking? I don't know. I thought it would be fun to like hang out and catch up a little bit. It's been a really long time. Don't you have plans with Sydney or April? <laughs> Nothing I wouldn't miss. I'd really like it if we could just spend some time together. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I 
Hey, Lynn, you look beautiful. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas, sir. Uh, Lynn, this is my sister, Anna. Anna, this is Lynn. Hey, I've heard so much about you. <laughs> <laughs> so look at all those kids up there, aren't they cute? They're so cute, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, totally. This is awesome. You like the church? I love it, it's huge. Yeah, we had a bunch of people come out and decorate it. Oh, look, there she is. Where Jake, over here.
I was in it. Color back or prom king. I took a conversion van color, lime green, and it was okay with me. So what does the big dog say? <laughs> <laughs> nice.